Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. How does the budget help make a future in Australia by investing in the jobs, industries and opportunities of tomorrow? And what hurdles were overcome? Good call to the Treasurer. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and thank you to the member for Hasluck uh, for her question and for the way that she represents a great community from out west here uh, in the People's House. Uh, Mr Speaker, as we said a moment ago, you know, the primary purpose in the near term in this budget is to help people who are doing it tough and to get the budget in much better nick as well. But one of the really important things about last night's budget is do doesn't neglect our responsibilities to the future. And the budget was all about a vision for making the most of this remarkable opportunity that we have as a country in our industry, in our energy, in our resources, in our skills base and as, our, as an attractive place for investment. The world is changing, Mr Speaker, and the pace of that change is accelerating and we need to change with it if our people are to be the primary beneficiaries, not victims, of all of that churn and change. And the global transition, the transformation to net zero, is the biggest change in the global economy since the Industrial Revolution. And our $22.7 billion Future Made in Australia package is all about maximising the opportunities that that will bring for every single part of the country, whether it's out west in the honourable members community or indeed right around Australia, Mr Speaker. We want to make ourselves an indispensable part of the global net zero economy and the Future Made in Australia investments in the budget last night will help us do it. It will help us maximise the opportunities and secure Australia's place in the world with an overwhelming focus, not on replacing private investment in our economy, but facilitating more private investment. Our plan for a future made in Australia is all about attracting that investment. It's all about making Australia a renewable energy superpower. It's about value adding to our resources and strengthening our economic security. It's about improving our innovation and our science and our digital capabilities. And it's about investing in our people and places. This is how we modernise our economy and maximise the opportunities of the future. And not for its own sake, but so that we can deliver a new generation of prosperity for more of, our, more of our people. A future defined by good, secure, well-paid jobs, not just in some parts of our country, but right around our country, in our suburbs and regions, Mr Speaker. And that's why a future made in Australia is a big priority of this government, not at the expense of our efforts to ease cost of living or to get the budget in better nick, but in addition to that. And that's because we understand on this side of the House that we have generational responsibilities to our people to create a new generation of prosperity, which is just as good as the past one, but which recognises the way that the world is changing and we need to change with it. Yeah.